Hey there guys, how's it going? Reaper here and I'm back with the next painting video. And this time around it's a Reaper Bones Mini and it is the Sylph, I believe it's called. Which is essentially a large fairy from the look of it. Or an angel, it could be. But we primed it in standard grey as we always do. And I've started off with her dress. I've gone with Goblin Green as I wanted something a little bit different. I've done a lot of blues and a lot of purples recently. I wanted something... Well, you know, something different from what I've always done. So, I thought I'd go with green. This mini can be used in many different ways as well. Like, I could easily do a enlarged fairy with her. She could be a water nymph. Even though she's painted green, it can still work. And, of course, there's always an angel. It's a woman with wings as an angel, basically. But now the green's done, we move on to her flesh and I've gone with very light skin, so I've gone with elven flesh. Now, I wanted to go with light skin, but I didn't want to go to sort of corpsey skin. Like, the closest living flesh tone I've got, essentially, is elven flesh, so I've gone with that. If I went any lower than that, like say corpse pale or something like that, she's going to start looking very much undead. and. I don't think that's what the feel of this mini should be. It should be very much like life and happiness, that sort of thing. That's the end of the elven flesh. I do come back um, off camera as well once it's dried to give it a second coat, which happens, I believe, after all the other paint is done and then I come back to it. But we move on for now to Necromancer's cloak, which is for her hair. And she has very long hair. Like, it sort of flows down to her feet, pretty much. But there's a weird gap where her wings are. On the back, on her back, you don't see the hair. It's just a flat piece of plastic. I don't think the wings are supposed to be open as much as they are. But it is entirely up to you if you guys want to paint that either in the hair colour or I've gone with the wings. I've done that to sort of match the wings so it all looks like a one piece. And that's the end of the next of cloak. Next up, we move on to mummy robes, which is a sort of off-white, pinky sort of colour. So I've gone for the wings, and then I've used white to highlight the wings in the, um, further on in the video. But then, this is again, it's up to you. You could have gone with sort of bright blue wings and highlighted up with a different colour. Well, no wings. They can be any colour you want, really. These are fairy wings, after all. They're not actual feathered wings. There we go, that's the end of the wings. And next up, we're on to Leather Brown. And this is, she is just wearing small little sandals, which I figured they should be brown. It made sense to be brown, so. It's just a, a few highlights on the feet and then around the base. 
But also with this model, well, with this sculpt of the model, you could easily have left that untouched as just her feet and she could be barefoot. Unless you're up close, you don't notice it. to the next or well, the first highlight and this is dungeon gray this is just a quick highlight for the hair as it's dark hair and when i give it a dark wash it'll become even darker so a light gray over the top just sort of makes it look shiny which is exactly what a highlight should be because the hair will still look black but it will obviously have that highlight and depth which what you want from the mini And then we're on to the highlights of the wings, which you can't really see much. And in hindsight, I probably would have done a different color, but it still pretty much works. It's just matte white over all the raised areas of the wings. Like it's got all these weird sort of, I want to say muscles, but I'm not sure if that's the right term. It could be bones in a sense, but it's just a pattern across the wings that's raised up. So you just cover that area in whatever highlight color you choose. With this probably a sort of deep blue sort of color would have worked well so it'll give that contrast of the white of the mummy robes and then you've got a nice decent piece of detail on the, a pretty bland mini to be honest like there's not a lot of detail other than the wings on this model And now onto the first of the washes, and this is Army Painter's Soft Tone. And this is just for the wings. It's essentially, it was just to highlight the edges and I do put it on there and then I come back straight away and just brush off as much as possible, which I'm doing now. As this is solely meant for just, it picks up edges and that's it. Now then we're on to Flash Wash for her skin. And there's not really much to say about this. It's flesh wash on flesh. That's how it's supposed to, what it's meant for. Now you could have just used soft tone for this, but I wanted flesh wash as it's got that sort of ready color to it as well. So it just makes it stand out a bit more. And then next wash is Army Painter's green tone. And of course this is for her dress, it's green. If you painted it a different color, I would recommend a different wash unless you want a weird greeny dress. And then the final wash we're doing is Army Painter's Dark Tone. And this is just for her hair. Now, like you've seen in some of my other videos, if you watch them is normally I would do one wash, whole model. I figured I'd try something different for this and sort of basically add a variation to the colors without adding highlights. Because now the wash is done, I've gone on to the basin as the model is complete and it looks good how it is. Like this looks more than good enough to be on a tabletop. I would be happy to place that against my players. Or with my players, it depends on what they do. But like I said, this is a very simple model to do. And if you're just starting out paint, I would recommend this one. But there's some of the final images, guys. And if you did enjoy, drop us a comment, let us know, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.